All right, so about to change the Haldex oil on the um, Audi TT. Got it jacked up, ready to go. Let's get this done. Okay, Haldex system. You can see, it's very hard to see in other people's videos, so I figured I would zoom in on it to show you the location of it. Do you see that? Right there, behind there, that black plastic piece. Let's see if I can get up in there a little more. That is the filter. That is the first thing that I'm going to change. So, what you're gonna need for this is this tool because it just makes it super easy. The new filter. Boom. The gear oil, which I've had in the freezer for 24 hours. Right here. Uh, everybody online said put it in the freezer. Here's a cock gun. You'll need that. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. And should be set. Really, that's it. Okay, so it turns out I'm gonna need a T40 for these guys, and I need to pop that off before I can get to the filter. Okay, got him. Okay, we got that filter out. We have our new one here. Boom, right there. Drain plug, let me zoom out. Drain plug, dripping on the phone, great. Okay, now that the Haldex is done, it's on to the DSG transmission fluid. I have ripped out the air box and you get down to your transmission and right, let me see my finger, that is the filter. But yep, yeah, here's a time lapse. <laughs> So here's our filter. Um, it doesn't look too bad. I don't know what they're supposed to look like, but either way, I'm glad it 
I'm changing it. Some wrinkles in it I don't think are good for it. Um, but I have elected to fill the transmission back up from up top. It is the slower way to do it, but it is absolutely doable. And if you don't have a pump to do it from the bottom, this is pretty much my only option. So tiny hole down in there. I am going to get my funnel and we're gonna get started. They say this is slow filling it from the top they are not kidding watch But I'm almost done. All right, guys, we are finished. Time to put the filter on, just like this. It just clicks on. I just turn it a few times, no real need to do that. Just make sure it's seated. I put a little bit of transmission fluid around this and the o-ring very important you don't strip it should twist on very easily Get on it in sport mode and see how she shifts. Wow, that is seamless. I love these transmissions. Say what you will about the DSG. 
it shift down like that. Oh, I love that. Would I have preferred a manual? Of course. Who wouldn't want a manual? Especially being a car guy, but... You're in it for speed. These DSGs do it right. 